ladies and gentlemen. Actually, uh, he has covered everything I wanted to say, so I can say <laughs> But actually, uh, I am very humbled by this uh, honor to be a keynote tonight because, uh, in my mind, I am not finished yet. I mean, we are just in the midst of this uh, journey that we have started in 2006. Therefore, I think, you know, uh, I will be just truly, uh, you know, 40 years later, if I, I, if I am still alive. But I mean, I will be very happy to share with you uh, what we have done so far and where we want to go. So, I was uh, thinking about what uh, title I should give to my talk. And uh, here is a uh, you know, title I came up with. Connecting the dots in life. Because this applies to everybody, right? I mean, we all have different dots in our life. And it's, uh, it's up to you to connect which dot to be connected with, with, with which dot. So, that would uh, shape your life at the end of the day. So, I think, I think it's quite appropriate because everybody has uh, uh, you know, his or her own story. But what I would like to add is that I would like to actually manage and grow these dots with passion. I think that's what I have done with my colleagues uh, uh, you know, so far. So, um, by the way, I'm also affiliated with uh, Case Western Reserve University as an adjunct full professor in physics and radiology and also the uh, adjunct full professor in electrical engineering at the University of Queensland in Australia, which is quite far away. But, um, um, you know, the, the last sentence I have there is something I share with my colleagues uh, quite often. That is, one simply, simply does not become a MRI RF, sub, RF core supplier by chance. So you can replace this MRI RF core supplier with anything you want to say, right? Because I believe that in order for someone to succeed, you have to have a drive and you have to have a very strong passion and determination to be successful. So uh, that's a message I want to convey you know, in my uh, keynote today. So uh, before I go in there, the reason why I'm standing here in front of everybody is that I have wonderful supporters and friends who uh, care about what we do. So I would like to you know, thank them for their support and friendship. And uh, you know, I do have a uh, um, highlighted actually an underlined maybe village, and I even enlarge the village there because no matter how many times I like Mayfield Village, people say QED from Mayfield Heights. You know, I'm speaking or I'm writing English, but it doesn't quite uh, you know uh, be successful so far. And my mayor, which is Sean, right there, Mayor Bruce Minka, I don't know where he's sitting. Oh, good, good, good. He has a hammer, you know, in his hand, as you can see. He is ready to punch me every time, you know, when people say QED from Mayfield Heights. So in any case, this is a, a, a something I want to, you know, I'll just uh, I'll share with you. My friends, colleagues, and my family, Amikiko and my kids. I can do only because uh, uh, of uh, uh, my family and my colleagues who believe in what we do. So I'm very grateful to them. This is a facility, uh, you know, a photo of uh, our QED, uh, 29,500 square foot. And also, the, the picture to, to your left, uh, we had a visit by uh, Mr. Mark Kwame uh, recently, so we had a group photo together. But basically, as I said, growing business is a never-ending journey as you, as you, as you know. We started uh, in 2006 with a very small number of uh, uh, people, myself and my two sons. And uh, they were so small in 2006, but today they are two half an island. So time goes by very fast. But actually, you know, we started with uh, uh, this very small group of people. And as you see, 2007, we had a core group of QED. I mean, these people are still with me today, and they haven't, uh, you know, abandoned me yet. But you know, that's the reason uh, uh, we can do so many things because we are driven for doing something better for our society. And today, in 2011, you see a photo there, which was uh, recently taken, uh, you know, um, when we 
had a very important visitor from Japan, Dr. Kazuo Inamori, which I will share with you. So, today I don't want to talk about products of what we do, because I know you will not be able to buy today. So, I rather want to focus on the uh, mental side of uh, uh, what it means to do business. So, I believe that for a business to succeed or to be successful, we need to have a philosophy that everybody can believe in for betterment of our society. That's our first belief. And then, of course, in order for the business to be you know, enabled, you need to make money. You need to be profitable. But money cannot be the number one goal. Because what I was taught by, by, by you know, uh, Dr. Inamori was that let the money follow you by doing something great. Because it will follow you. But if you, you simply pass the profit and money, you will not be successful. I keep that in mind all the time. So uh, I just mentioned Dr. Inamori, but he's a 79 years old gentleman who started the Kyocera Corporation in Japan, which is a you know, multi-billionaire business. And then he's also a founder of KDDI, which is a uh, Japan's equivalent AT&T phone company. And he's also a chairman and CEO of Japan Airlines. And then he's also the president of the Inamori Foundation. So he does so many things at his age, nine, uh, 79. I mean, I was influenced by him when I started the business. So, uh, you know, these are the things I, I always keep in mind, especially the future of humanity can be assured only through the balance of scientific progress and spiritual, you know, uh, maturity. I think that's very important for anyone who will be doing business. Now, I can say that this year uh, it was one of the, my you know, biggest moments in life because I was able to meet with uh, Mr. Albert Ratna, thanks to the Cleveland Orchestra. We met, uh, actually I met with him on the Valentine's Day, but it was not meant for that. I mean, uh, but you know, I tell you that at the end of the day, I ask myself what drives me to go into the future. I think these great minds who have high energies and then believe in the human, you know, uh, society's future, I think that's what drives me at the end of the day. So I am very grateful to Mr. Albert Ratna because he has been advising me for many things, uh, you know, business to life to many things, so I'm very grateful. Now, um, another thing I share with my colleague is uh, this is an equation of life. The result of our life, or you can say the outcome of our life, is a product of three quantities. Ability times, effort times, attitude. Well, ability can go from 0 to 100 because you may be very talented in one thing, right? So it could go from 0 to 100. But the effort also could go from 0 to 100 because you may, be, you may not be that talented, but you make a tremendous effort to compensate that and you become great. That's possible too. But the most important thing is attitude, because attitude can go from a minus 100 to 100, which means no matter how smart you are, if your ne you know, attitude is negative, your outcome will be negative, and that does not benefit the society. That's why the, what, what I tell my colleagues all the time, because for our company to be united, every day for challenges, we have to be able to believe in something that is universal. So this is something I share with all my colleagues every single day. I talked about connecting the dots in life. I'm not going to you know, go through all, my, uh, all the things I did in life. But I mean, as I came to Cleveland in 92, and then one thing led to another, and then now I'm, uh, you know, I have uh, uh, my business with my colleagues. But what I can tell you is that I gave my best every single day, no matter what I was doing. And then I always took one step at a time, which took me to where I am today. So it's, there is no magic about it, because as I always say, tomorrow only comes after today. There is no magic about it. So we want to get there, but we have to take the first step. That's another thing I share with my colleagues. That gave me the opportunities to 
have Siemens and Toshiba, which are the largest you know, OEM customers in the industry, from day one of QED. So we did not have to look for customers. All we had to do was that they asked us to develop a product in some you know, time frame. And then they said, all right, guys, we, we can give you businesses, just go and do it. That's exactly what we, what we did in the eight, first 18 months. So I'm very grateful to my colleagues because they have the determination to make it happen. Many people may say, oh my God, it's going to be so difficult, so you know, it may not be possible. I mean, I do not accept the word impossible or difficult because it's just you know, up to your, your, your mindset. So we did it. That's the reason we have it. That's the reason I say nothing is by chance. We have the determination to be successful. <coughs> I didn't talk about my business yet, but we do make a very important part of the MRI scanner. As you see, there is such a thing called radio frequency core, which is basically the antenna listening to the signals from the human body that gets converted to images that doctors see. That's what we do. So we have so many antennas of radio frequency cores. So uh, this is our business. We sell this to many companies worldwide. So, 2006 to 2011, we grew by 2,600% in revenue. Uh, we are profitable today. Uh, we have eight employees, as I said, seven different countries represented. That's the reason we need a universal philosophy, so that we can be united. Um, this is just uh, some of the recognitions uh, we were so fortunate to receive uh, since 2006. I'm not going to go through this, but I tell you, these are the wonderful energizers because once we get the recognition like this, our employees can get you know, inspired and motivated because they will see at the end of the day what they do makes a difference to our society. It's very important for people to know that. Um, while we are in medical device, sometimes we do construction business as well. I was asked to do you know, uh, three Tesla MRI bay construction at the uh, 777 battle drive. May I think may know about it. Once we, you know, first we start digging the ground, we had water issues. Day after day, we had water coming up from the ground. So we fixed that. But eventually, we put the 14 tons uh, MRI scanner to an office building, which was an issue to our landlord. So in any case, when you think about all these things, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yes, life is challenging, projects are very challenging, but it's very fun. So that's the reason we can do more. Last year, we started another business called the EQED, as the uh, chairman mentioned. Uh, we have now solar micro inverter, which goes together with every single solar panel. My belief is that we want to make a contribution to the basic human infrastructure business throughout the world. Medical is one, and the renewable energy is another. So we already have a product, and now we are going to work with uh, you know, our partners to uh, distribute these things. This year, uh, we added another other customers, a major one, Cam, you know a camera company. We are developing an organ viability system development with Cam. We were awarded one million, uh, one million from the state of Ohio recently. Also, Samsung, which is a, a huge Korean company, they recently invested uh, one billion uh, dollar to the uh, diagnostic imaging. So we are a uh, partner with them as well. So and then this year I had the honor to be invited to the White House because of the Tibet Award. So these things actually drive us into the future. So I hope that uh, uh, we can, you know, do what we have to do in, you know, in our own expertise. And I'm sure that uh, uh, 40 years from now, we, we will get together and talk about what we did in life. So thank you very much for your attention, and you have a wonderful evening.